Are you ready to shake your booty back to the 80s? That's what will be happening in the Rivers <laughs> Casino this Saturday. All to benefit the Children's Home of Pittsburgh and Lemieux Family Center. I feel like Mario himself would approve. He yes. was huge in the 80s, of course. <laughs> it's his decade. And here to tell us more is Pam Keen, the CEO of Children's Home, and Caitlin Neal, whose daughter, Amara, is a, is a star at the Children's Home as well. So, so good to have you guys here. Thanks for having Thanks. us. Yeah. And so we're going to talk about the event in just a moment. But first, Caitlin, I'd love to talk with you about your daughter, Amara. Yeah, Amara's three. Uh, she started going to the children's home, specifically Child's Way, when she was about 10 months old. And um, we got Amara and her sisters um, around that time. And she's she just absolutely loves Child's Way. Um, she's developed and changed so much in the last two and a half years. Um, she loves her teachers. She loves her therapists. Uh, she's just doing so much more than we ever thought she'd be able to do with a traumatic brain injury. Um, she's just the happiest kid, Aww. and she's amazing. Aww. I love that picture, her beautiful smile. Thank yes. you. Yeah. That was actually from Adoption Day. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> what a special day, too. Well, Pam, talk to us about the actual event, because you guys have picked a wonderful theme. People love going back to the 80s. Do you have your leg warmers ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm doing, I'm channeling Cindy Lauper. Oh, so, that's good. Yeah, totally 80s. Um, shake your booties. We've been doing this for 24 years. It raises much needed funds for the children's home and all of our programs. Child's Way being one of the programs, our daycare for medically fragile children, our pediatric specialty hospital. We also have Pediatric View, which is for kids with cortical visual impairment. Um, and our therapy team is incredible. It, it's, it's, it's just an incredible event and it raises much needed funds, as I said. We have an element called Fund the Mission. If you can't be there, please go online. Please go to our website and check it out. We have auction items and you can also fund the mission. You know, for people who don't know, I mean, I'm glad that you brought up some of the other programming because they may think of the children's home and, and know it as somewhere uh, where you could adopt a child, mm -hmm. some other services as well for foster care. But tell us, you know, a little bit more about how this all expanded and how you wanted to provide more services. Well, I mean, our pediatric specialty hospital has been in existence in, since 1984. We train families to care for their children when they get them home from the hospital, and we're a bridge to home. So, you know, the average length of stay at Children's Hospital, which is right down the road from us, mm -hmm. is only 5.1 days. Now, can you imagine learning how to care for your child if they have a tracheostomy, or they're on a ventilator, or they have a feeding tube? Well, it takes a little bit longer. So parents come down to us, our nursing staff, our physicians, they teach them how to care for them, and then they take them home. So that's just one remarkable program, along with Child's Way, which is our daycare for medically fragile children. It's the only alternative to in-home care. Wow. So where kids would be at home and a, and a nurse would come to the home, this way they can go to a center and be with all their friends. Amara has a great time with all her friends down there. She does. Uh, gets all the therapy. Her care is supervised by the nursing staff. It's, it's an incredible program. Caitlin, talk to us about what a difference, what you want people to know about what a difference this has made to your family. Yeah. It's made a huge difference to our family. We've not only found a place for Amara to really grow and thrive as her own person, but we feel, we feel safe with having her there because she's loved and cared for and they give her everything that she needs to build her skills and, and be the best she can be in life. So we saw the picture from Adoption Day. Yes. At that time, did you know about the traumatic brain injury and how that would impact development? We did. Um, so she was injured when she was five months old. Um, we got her when she was about 10 months old. Um, so we knew somewhat how it would impact her, but we really didn't think she would get to where she is right now and she's still progressing. And so thanks to the services. Uh, exa exactly. Um, we can't say enough about the therapists, the, the, um, the nurses, the teachers. Yeah. They've just given her so much more and given us so much more than we ever imagined possible. That's why this fundraiser is so important. Absolutely. It really absolutely. is. It's making a difference in people's lives. Thank you so much for joining us and telling us about it. Really, we appreciate it so much. Thank thanks for having us. Thank you. And to learn more about Shake Your Booties, back to the 80s purchase tickets become a sponsor or donate to the auction you can head to our website pittsburghtodaylive.com we're going to have a link and more information for you there okay